under an emergency for the second time in five weeks. The president says it was to ensure public order. But what's happening on the streets of Colombo is exactly the opposite. Protests continue as we speak. On the 7th of May, as midnight struck, the presidential order came into effect. But around the same time, angry protesters took to the streets. The protests are a continuation from the night before. The process has been intensifying for months. Outside the Prime Minister's office, it has shifted to the Parliament Road, where different unions also joined in, like trade, transport and railway. They all gathered with one demand, resignation of the President. Police fired tear gas and water cannons at students who were trying to storm the Sri Lankan Parliament. Earlier protests had called on senior Rajapaksa's resignation. But now it seems the public pressure is turning towards the president. Remember, Mahinda is the elder brother of President Gotabaya Rajapaksa. Mahinda himself served as the president of Sri Lanka from 2005 to 2015. The two brothers have dominated nearly every aspect of life in Sri Lanka for almost 20 years. Until recently, they controlled 75% of the country's budget. Together, the Rajapaksa clan has been accused of creating the economic crisis in Sri Lanka. We do understand that the protests are currently going on in Sri Lanka and this is uh, to prove of how the economic situation in the country is deteriorating by the day. Prices of basic necessities like fuel, food are skyrocketing and people in Sri Lanka or Sri Lankans themselves are angry with the Rajapaksas. They want the Rajapaksa family or the Rajapaksa clan to resign. They are demanding for the president to resign. They also want uh, acknowledgement from the government that this crisis should be dealt with very fast. And for more on this, we are being joined by Shana Kian Raza Manikam from Colombo. Shana Kian, thank you very much for making time and welcome to We On. How can you assess the situation in Sri Lanka? What's going on and how can this problem be resolved? Uh, yes, uh, thank you uh, for having me on the program. Uh, in fact, uh, Sri Lanka is facing its worst economic crisis and uh, Beyond has reported uh, uh, continuously on the situation in Sri Lanka. However, the economic crisis has now uh, become a political crisis. Uh, it has become a political deadlock. Uh, where the people of this country are demanding that President Gotabe Rajapaksha resigns immediately and Prime Minister Rajapaksha along with his cabinet resigns immediately. But however, the President and the Prime Minister are just uh, throwing, uh, uh, there is a power battle going on between the President and the Prime Minister. Whilst the country is suffering, there is no fuel, there is no food, there is no electricity. And in the near future, we would uh, face shortage of uh, even uh, basic uh, amenities. But uh, to resolve this, uh, no country is going to come forward to help the government of Sri Lanka when there is such uh, political uh, instability. And, and most recently, the uh, president has declared a state of emergency in the country. And, uh, you know, state of emergency, there is no emergency in the country other than protests that's happening against the president. So we strongly feel that uh, the state of emergency has been declared to uh, suppress uh, the people who are standing up against the government. And also, uh, President Gotabe Rajapaksha declared a state of emergency about five weeks ago. And uh, when you declare a state of emergency, that needs to be ratified by the parliament. 
uh, parliamentarians need to vote for it, uh, vote in favor of it. However, five weeks ago when President, uh, uh, President brought in uh, the emergency law, President withdrew the emergency law himself before it could be.